Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. Okay, so I'm going to do Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn. I've had um, people asking about these two for a while now, so I thought I would just do a quick reading on them. All right, so um, she is a Sagittarius. There's a lot of Sagittarius girls out there that are singers, actors, that kind of a thing. And he's a Pisces. All right, so... Um, Again, I don't know much about these people, but um, I, I get this feeling that this guy, Joe, is quite dull. <laughs> um, I get it. I get like this dull vibe from him, like vanilla. Um, but the relationship between the two of them works. I don't find that these two are the most exciting couple in the world like when I think about him I get dull boring vanilla there's, there's and there's nothing wrong with vanilla you know I keep saying this it's the most popular flavor in the world but it's it's like it's like it's like a white piece of paper like I, I don't I don't know if he just doesn't have a personality but I feel Taylor is kind of like along the same lines it's like these two fit well together. She's not a bad girl. She's not like a Kardashian that has done a sex video or um, not that they're bad people, but she's not like Cardi B or, you know, um, those people that cause drama. I know she had a little bit of something going on with Katy Perry, but I mean, for the most part, she's a pretty good girl. Like, I don't know where, what it is that they um, connect on. I don't know if they're religious but I feel like, bottom line, um, they connect on something together. I don't know if it's the roots, like, as far as, like, um, he comes from a good family, she comes from a good family, they get along really well, and I feel like there's a basis to something here. Whether they're, like, they're both in music or they're both just in entertainment, I don't really, I don't know what he does. But there is a commonality here uh, between them, um... It's like roots, right? It's either they're both raised the same way or they have they both have the same kind of background. I can't figure it out. But they connect on a certain level. This is not a highly passionate relationship. This is stability. Um, it's like he's a good boy, she's a good girl. They get along together and they're good boy and good girl together. They, like, I don't see, like, like I just don't get that these two um, you have to worry about them breaking the law together or running through the streets like naked or, or doing racy things, you know? So I think it's, I feel like it's, they kind of remind me of, of, of two people that really just follow the rules. I could be wrong, but, um, See, he, he offers her stability. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy, because I really think that he's a good guy. There's there's something stable about him there, but there's no passion between these two. You know, it's like, I, when I think about them, I think boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't think lovers. I don't, I don't get that lover's vibe. You know, like those two could rip each other's clothes off. You know, I, I don't get that. So, um, I don't know how old she is. All I know is that she's born December 13th. That would make her a Sagittarius. And he's a Pisces. I looked it up. It better be a Pisces. Or I'm going to freaking throw myself out the window. Because I looked it up on the internet and said that he's a Pisces. So, um, so I think that these two will stay together just because it is so normal. You know how there's people out there that will cause drama because they're not used to things being so normal. Um, you know, someone like, for example, Cardi B. I find that Cardi B, if her life is going smoothly, she will cause drama um, because that's what she's used to. She can't function in um, normalcy, right? So she could have grown up as a child, you know, with being things being very toxic around her, right? So I find that I find that like I don't know what kind of childhood they had, okay? I don't know, but I feel like 
Taylor had a really nice childhood. This Joe had a really nice childhood. And they have, they don't have a lot of drama in their life. So they don't cause the drama and create the drama. Okay, so it's a lovely couple. If boring is what you're into, you know, it's it, 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 like, but again, like she doesn't, she doesn't seem like the type that really requires a whole lot, wants a whole lot of excitement, you know, and, and um, she's sparky, but I feel she's a good girl. She walks, she toes the line and she walks a straight line. And so does this kid, you know, this Joel, when I don't know how old he is. So um, I think that they'll be together for a while. I think if nothing, even th they could even get married because I feel, I find that it's, it's a nice love between the two of them. Okay. I don't feel like it's a mature love though. I feel like, again, I feel boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, like I don't, when I read their energies or when I feel their energies, I don't feel adulthood. You know, and I think she must be, she's got to be in her late 20s. When I read her energy, I feel a 16 year old and I feel him being 16, 17, something like that. And they're just still young. Okay. But I, I and I think it's because their relationship is very go by the rules, you know? I don't know. You guys can tell me if they're racy, if they're a racy couple. I don't get that this couple is anything like Kanye West and freaking Kim Kardashian, you know, or, um, you know, celebrities that are like, or that Cardi B, right? So, okay. Let's see what the cards have to say. What are the messages? Cardi B and Joe Alwyn. No, Cardi B, where did that come from? Taylor and Joe. Taylor and Joe. Long day at work. All right. What are the messages? For, and see, there goes my dog. Every time I start talking, he does this to me. Stop it. Stop it. All right. What are the messages regarding Taylor Swift and Joe? Taylor and Joe. So if you're new to my channel, what I do is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers, okay? More than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. Taylor and Joe. Taylor and Joe. Taylor and Joe. Taylor and Joe. Oops. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Really nice card. Ten of Cups is about marriage with children, family, love, and support. All right, I see this for them. I see that this potentially can happen for them. Then we have the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins is leaving a legacy. It's inheritance. It's working together, building something together as a couple. All right? Because they, I feel that they do have happiness here with the two of them. And then there's strength. Okay? They have strength here. All right? Um, there's confidence in this relationship. You know, there's no... Um, What's, there's no scandal between these two, okay? Not at all. All right. What does Joe feel for Taylor? 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 All right, so what does Joe feel for Taylor? There's the Ace of Coins. It's beginnings, prosperity, business, property. It visualizes this, sorry, this card symbolizes success or other achievements. So I think he feels there's a new, there's a beginning, there's some a good beginning with this woman, um, success, achievement. Um, 
finding a new enterprise and a stable relationship. Okay, it is stable. This is like a very stable relationship to the point where it's freaking boring. All right, Ace of Cups. What does he feel for her? This is his cup flows over with emotions. She feel she fulfills him emotionally. All right, and then we have the Moon. What does he feel for Taylor Swift? Eighteen. All right. Um, this is a card about making a decision, which feels like a great risk. Vulnerable as you are, as your intuition, ask your intuition to guide you forward and discern what is real, what is a real option, what may be fantasy. When you do this, you may discover your true path and the work you were meant to do. All right. So he might be work, like waiting on some sort of a decision, kind of, you know, getting to know her more. You know, um, the moon is about following your intuition. Um, it's about sometimes not seeing all sides of everything. So maybe he's still waiting to um, figure her out completely. Okay. Let's see if there's marriage involved with these two. All right. Will Taylor and... Joel be getting married. Well, Taylor and Joel be getting married. And Joel be getting married. Taylor and Joel be getting married. I'm going for two cards. More than one keeps falling out. Taylor and Joel be getting married. Okay, so we have the two of, of swords. All right, so the two of swords says it's procrastination, thinking, time, and decisions. You may cross swords with an opponent, opponent or face a problem that cannot be easily resolved. This two is often a card of procrastination and you're blind as to which way forward. By all means, take time out to think, but a decision needs to be made and soon. You need a workable solution and perfect one. So there's procrastination going on in thinking time, okay? There's, they're, they're thinking. I feel like, like as this relationship proceeds, they're thinking, all right? There's the tower. The tower to me is big life changes, marriage, divorce, birth, death, moving, um, changing jobs. This could be the marriage. Okay. These are big life changes. All right. And then we have the devil. Um, let's see what the devil means. I asked if they're going to get married. 15. So this card says, uh, the devil reveals an agreement, moral obligation, or relationship that restricts you. The card also stands for materialism and ego, so it can mean feeling enslaved by work or debt or negative people draining your energy or bank account. Okay, so maybe she's working too much. All right, um, it's about relieving, it reveals an agreement, moral obligation, or relationship that restricts you. There's something that's restricting them, okay, because here is. Um, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, thinking about things, waiting, uh, procrastination. I, I don't know if it's her, um, career that restricts it right now. I feel they'll get married, but I think it's going to be a little while yet down the road before they do that. Okay. All right. So there's your reading for Taylor Swift and Joe Elwin. Um, if you're looking to get a private reading, email me. I will have my email at the bottom of the video. And um, I'm, I'm what's called a clairsentient, which means when I do a private reading, when I do any of these readings, I'm tapping into the people's energy. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And um, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I love all of you guys. Okay. Thanks again. Bye-bye.